In abstract algebra, the split complex numbers are a two-dimensional commutative algebra over the real numbers different from the complex numbers. Every split complex number has the form x plus y j, where x and y are real numbers. The number j is similar to the imaginary unit i, except that j2 equals plus 1. As an algebra over the rails, the split complex numbers are the same as the direct sum of algebras RR. The name split comes from this characterization. As a real algebra, the split complex numbers split into the direct sum RR. It arises, for example, as the real subalgebra generated by an involutory matrix. Geometrically, Split complex numbers are related to the modulus in the same way that complex numbers are related to the square of the Euclidean norm. Unlike the complex numbers, the split complex numbers contain non-trivial idempotents, as well as zero divisors, and therefore they do not form a field. In interval analysis, a split complex number x plus y j represents an interval with midpoint x and radius y. Another application involves using split complex numbers, dual numbers, and ordinary complex numbers to interpret a 2 times 2 real matrix as a complex number. Split complex numbers have many other names. See the synonyms section below. See the article motor variable for functions of a split complex number. Definition A split complex number is an ordered pair of real numbers written in the form where x and y are real numbers and the quantity j satisfies choosing results in the complex numbers. It is this sign change which distinguishes the split complex numbers from the ordinary complex ones. The quantity j here is not a real number but an independent quantity, that is, it is not equal to plus or minus 1. The collection of all such z is called the split complex plane. Addition and multiplication of split complex numbers are defined by plus equals plus j equals plus j. This multiplication is commutative, associative and distributes over addition. Conjugate, modulus, and bilinear form just as for complex numbers, one can define the notion of a split complex conjugate. If z equals x plus jy the conjugate of z is defined as z equals x minus jy. The conjugate satisfies similar properties to usual complex conjugate, namely, equals z plus w equals z w equals z. These three properties imply that the split complex conjugate is an automorphism of order 2. The modulus of a split complex number z equals x plus jy is given by the isotropic quadratic form. It has an important property that it is preserved by split complex multiplication. However, this quadratic form is not positive definite but rather has signature, so the modulus is not a norm. The associated bilinear form is given by z, w equals re equals re equals zu minus yv, where z equals x plus jy and w equals u plus jv. Another expression for the modulus is then since it is not positive definite. This bilinear form is not an inner product, nevertheless the bilinear form is frequently referred to as an indefinite inner product. A similar abuse of language refers to the modulus as a norm. A split complex number is invertible if and only if its modulus is non-zero for some real number A. The diagonal basis there are two non-trivial idempotents given by E equals 2 and E equals 2. Recall that idempotent means that E equals E and E equals E. Both of these elements are null. It is often convenient to use E and E as an alternate basis for the split complex plane. This basis is called the diagonal basis or null basis. The split complex number Z can be written in the null basis as Z equals X plus JY equals E plus E. If we denote the number z equals a plus b for real numbers a and b by, then split complex multiplication is given by equals. In this basis, it becomes clear that the split complex numbers are ring isomorphic to the direct sum rr with addition and multiplication defined pairwise. 
the split complex conjugate in the diagonal basis is given by equals and the modulus by the lying in the same isomorphism class in the category of rings. The split complex plane and the direct sum of two real lines differ in their layout in the Cartesian plane. The isomorphism, as a planar mapping, consists of a counterclockwise rotation by 45 degrees and a dilation by square root 2. The dilation in particular has sometimes caused confusion in connection with areas of hyperbolic sectors. Indeed, hyperbolic angle corresponds to area of sectors in the plane with its unit circle given by the contracted unit circle of the split complex plane, has only half the area in the span of a corresponding hyperbolic sector. Such confusion may be perpetuated when the geometry of the split complex plane is not distinguished from that of geometry. A two-dimensional real vector space with the Minkowski in a product is called dimensional Minkowski space, often denoted R1, 1. Just as much of the geometry of the Euclidean plane R2 can be described with complex numbers. The geometry of the Minkowski plane R1, 1 can be described with split complex numbers. The set of points is a hyperbola for every non-zero in R. The hyperbola consists of a right and left branch passing through and the case R equals 1 is called the unit hyperbola. The conjugate hyperbola is given by with an upper and lower branch passing through and the hyperbola and conjugate hyperbola are separated by two diagonal asymptotes which form the set of null elements. These two lines are perpendicular in R2 and have slopes plus or minus 1. Split complex numbers Z and W are said to be hyperbolic orthogonal if Z, W equals 0, while analogous to ordinary orthogonality, particularly as it is known with ordinary complex number arithmetic, this condition is more subtle. It forms the basis for the simultaneous hyperplane concept in spacetime. The analogue of Euler's formula for the split complex numbers is this can be derived from a power series expansion using the fact that Koch has only even powers while that for Schein has odd powers. For all real values of the hyperbolic angle theta the split complex number lambda equals e x p has norm 1 and lies on the right branch of the unit hyperbola. Numbers such as lambda have been called hyperbolic verses. Since lambda has modulus 1, multiplying any split complex number z by lambda preserves the modulus of z and represents a hyperbolic rotation. Multiplying by lambda preserves the geometric structure, taking hyperbolas to themselves and the null cone to itself. The set of all transformations of the split complex plane which preserve the modulus forms a group called the generalized orthogonal group O. This group consists of the hyperbolic rotations, which form a subgroup denoted SO+, combined with four discrete reflections given by and the exponential map sending theta to rotation by EXP is a group isomorphism since the usual exponential formula applies. If a split complex number Z does not lie on one of the diagonals, then Z has a polar decomposition. Algebraic properties In abstract algebra terms, the split complex numbers can be described as the quotient of the polynomial ring R x by the ideal generated by the polynomial x2-1 R x. The image of x in the quotient is the imaginary unit j. With this description, it is clear that the split complex numbers form a commutative ring with characteristic zero. Moreover, if we define scalar multiplication in the obvious manner, the split complex numbers actually form a commutative and associative algebra over the rails of dimension 2. The algebra is not a division algebra or field since the null elements are not invertible. In fact, all of the non-zero null elements are zero divisors. Since addition and multiplication are continuous operations with respect to the usual topology of the plane, the split complex numbers form a topological ring. The algebra of split complex numbers forms a composition algebra since for any numbers z and w, the class of composition algebras extends the normed algebras class which also has this composition property. 
From the definition it is apparent that the ring of split complex numbers is isomorphic to the group ring R C2 of the cyclic group C2 over the real numbers R. The split complex numbers are a particular case of a Clifford algebra, namely, they form a Clifford algebra over a one-dimensional vector space with a positive definite quadratic form. Contrast this with the complex numbers which form a Clifford algebra over a one-dimensional vector space with a negative definite quadratic form. In mathematics, the split complex numbers are members of the Clifford algebra C1, 0 equals C01, 1. This is an extension of the real numbers defined analogously to the complex numbers C equals C0, 1 equals C02, 0. Matrix representations. One can easily represent split complex numbers by matrices. The split complex number Z equals X plus JY can be represented by the matrix addition and multiplication of split complex numbers are then given by matrix addition and multiplication. The modulus of Z is given by the determinant of the corresponding matrix. In this representation, split complex conjugation corresponds to multiplying on both sides by the matrix for any real number A. A hyperbolic rotation by a hyperbolic angle corresponds to multiplication by the matrix. The diagonal basis for the split complex number plane can be invoked by using an ordered pair for and making the mapping now the quadratic form is furthermore. So the two parametrized hyperbolas are brought into correspondence with S. The action of hyperbolic versor then corresponds under this linear transformation to a squeeze mapping. Note that in the context of two times two real matrices there are in fact a great number of different representations of split complex numbers. The above diagonal representation represents the Jordan canonical form of the matrix representation of the split complex numbers. For a split complex number Z equals given by the following matrix representation, its Jordan canonical form is given by where in history. The use of split complex numbers dates back to 1848 when James Cockle revealed his tesserines. William Kingdon Clifford used split complex numbers to represent sums of spins. Clifford introduced the use of split complex numbers as coefficients in a quaternion algebra now called split biquaternions. He called its elements motors, a term in parallel with the rotor action of an ordinary complex number taken from the circle group. Extending the analogy, functions of a motor variable contrast to functions of an ordinary complex variable. Since the early 20th century, the split complex multiplication has commonly been seen as a Lorentz boost of a space-time plane. In that model, the number Z equals X plus Y J represents an event in a spatio-temporal plane, where X is measured in nanoseconds and Y in merman's feet. The future corresponds to the quadrant of events Z, Y, less than X, which has the split complex polar decomposition. The model says that Z can be reached from the origin by entering a frame of reference of rapidity A and waiting rho nanoseconds. The split complex equation expressing products on the unit hyperbola illustrates the additivity of rapidities for collinear velocities. Simultaneity of events depends on rapidity A, is the line of events simultaneous with the origin in the frame of reference with rapidity A. Two events Z and W are hyperbolic orthogonal when Z W plus Z W equals zero. Canonical events EXP and JEXP are hyperbolic orthogonal and lie on the axis of a frame of reference in which the events simultaneous with the origin are proportional to JEXP. In 1935 JC, Vino and A. Duranon Y. Vedia developed the split complex geometric algebra and function theory in four articles in contribution alas science as physicas y mathematicas. National University of La Plata, Republica Argentina. These expository and pedagogical essays presented the subject for broad appreciation. In 1941 E.F. 
Allen used the split complex geometric arithmetic to establish the nine point hyperbola of a triangle inscribed in ZZ equals 1. In 1956, Mieczysław Warmus published Calculus of Approximations in Bulletin de l'Academie Polonaise des Sciences. He developed two algebraic systems, each of which he called approximate numbers, the second of which forms a real algebra. D.H. Lehmer reviewed the article in Mathematical Reviews and observed that this second system was isomorphic to the hyperbolic complex numbers, the subject of this article. In 1961 Warmus continued his exposition, referring to the components of an approximate number as midpoint and radius of the interval denoted synonyms. Different authors have used a great variety of names for the split complex numbers. Some of these include, Tesserines, James Cockle, Motors, W.K., Clifford, Hyperbolic Complex Numbers, J.C., Vino, Biorreal Numbers, Ben Savenga, Approximate Numbers, Warmest for Use in Interval Analysis, Countercomplex or Hyperbolic Numbers from Musean Hypernumbers, Double Numbers, I.M., Yaglom, Cantor and Solodovnikov, Hayeswinkle, Rooney, Anormal complex numbers, Benz, Paplex numbers, Fielstad and Pudiak in Leckler, Lawrence numbers, FR, Harvey, Hyperbolic numbers, Sobchik, Semi complex numbers, Antonusio, Split complex numbers, Rosenfeld, Space time numbers, Boritar, Study numbers, Launesto, Twelve complex numbers, Olaria, Split complex numbers and their higher dimensional relatives were at times referred to as Musean numbers, since they're a subset of the hypernumber program developed by Charles Musers.